everybody. Welcome back to today's video. Today we are here at the Red Bluff Outlaws for points race number three. We have had unbelievable speed at this place to start our winter season. The 18T has been on rails. We just haven't had the proper luck and have not been in the right position to succeed and win some races. Like I said though, the speed is there. So I'm excited to get back out on the racetrack after winning a race at Roseburg during our off time. Then we had a week off and now we're back here at Red Bluff for four straight weeks before Christmas. Cars are pretty much all ready to go. We're going to finish up everything before qualifying. We're going to be going out in group number four, so ride along with me on the GoPro. It should be a very exciting night. for that qualifying session. That's just typical for Red Bluff. It gives you butterflies that I don't really get anywhere else. This place is just nuts. So went out uh, in the fourth group, so 16 cars had qualified and were third quick. Another group went out and we held it, so we'll just kind of have to see. There's still about 25 more opens to go. I felt like my lap was fairly good. Three and four was money. One and two, I was making a few mistakes. Just how you enter the corner and with the transition kind of throws you off. We're gonna get our stuff just a little bit better, see where we end up. Hopefully we can stay in the top six to lock into tonight's trophy dash. All right, we were able to hold on for fourth quick out of 45 opens tonight at the Red Bluff Outlaws. Heat races will be up next. We are going to start second row outside. The racetrack got rougher and rougher as more cars went out, so they kind of fixed it after qualifying. Now for the heat races, it's going to be interesting whether the bottom or the top is the fastest, but we're in heat race number four, top two transfer to tonight's main event. <laughs> Lights are out, single power restart. We are ready to rip right here. Out of turn four, back on the right. Sean Becker in the 23, the only driver venturing to the top side of the racetrack, trying to make something happen, but just could not get enough drive off the corner. He'll fall back in line. Jake Park now putting the pressure on the 18T of Tanner Holmes in the battle for the transfer spot. Out front, Landon Brooks leads the way. Holmes being pressured big time by the 77X. And Holmes just not making any mistakes right now. Hugging the bottom of the racetrack, trying to keep it down off the corners. White flag is in the air, one lap to go. Landon Brooks gets through three and four, and to the checkered flag, Landon Brooks, your winner. Tanner Holmes, Jake Park, Sean Becker, Travis Labatt, your top five. So it's Landon Brooks and Tanner Holmes go into the feature. Jake Park, Sean Becker go to the B main. Travis Labatt, Trace Adams to the C main event, then Drake Stanley, Ryan Bonner, and Tyler Cato to the D main. All right, just got done with our heat race, started second row outside, and the track was really just one lane right around the bottom. Was able to make a few moves, got really lucky on the initial start. My teammate, the 60L of Landon Brooks, he got a good jump and was able to chop the inside lane going into one, and I think that maybe just spooked the inside car. They half spun, and I was able to slide into second. From there, we were all just pull putt in the bottom. I mean, I'm talking right on the disc, just rolling, trying to be smooth. Third was right behind me, and with top two transferring, sometimes some desperate moves come out. Fortunate enough, we were able to hold hold on for second and transfer to tonight's A-Main event. Now I got a few people that want to be in today's vlog. One of them has been in it so many times you guys ask for updates on him and that is Brody Reynolds. Brody, how's it going? Good. How's, uh, how's your night going so far tonight? Not good. Um, I finished uh, third, but we're going to be in the B. Hey, yeah. that's all good. You guys come through the field. You got this. And then I have another fan that wants to be in the video, buddy. What's your name? Cade. Cade. And uh, how's your night going so far? You having fun? Awesome. Well, hey, best of luck to you guys here the and, rest of the night. Oh, what's and up? And I have a 
a YouTube channel. Hey, yeah, what's your what's your YouTube channel? Brody Reynolds Motorsports. This guy posts uh, weekly videos of his nights, so make sure you guys go check him out, Brody Reynolds Motorsports. Anyway, we're gonna continue. We're gonna be in the redraw later tonight and should have a good starting position for the A-Main event. So now we are just getting everything ready for the trophy dash here in just about an hour. Everything's running a little bit late. They still have very high car counts here at Red Bluff, 185 total in the pit area. So we're gonna get everything ready for the trophy dash. We're gonna be starting second row inside. Trophy dash doesn't matter at all. All you get is a trophy for winning and 50 bucks. And then also it counts towards our points for the championship. So we're gonna try to run as far up front as possible, try a few things and get ready for tonight's A-Main event. <laughs> We need 18T, Tanner Holmes. We need you over here first. You're going to be the first to draw. You are the fastest to transfer out of your heat race. So, uh, Tanner, uh, whichever one of these six is all up to you. If you draw the one or two, you get the opportunity to go to the back. And that's a four. So, Tanner Holmes will start fourth in tonight's main event. is up next. It's really cold at Red Bluff. I got a sweatshirt over my suit. That's just the time of year here. It starts getting really, really cold, raining, and the weather just isn't very great. But we pulled the four, so we're going to be rolling out second row outside just like last week. Our car was really, really good in the dash. I mean, we had phenomenal speed, except about three laps in, I started having throttle cable issues, and my throttle was actually sticking. So I had to back it down a little bit to try to make sure I didn't run into the guys in front of me and miss my marks. So I kind of had to slow up. I ended up running fourth after starting third. I think, though, if I could have gotten a second a little bit quicker and not had those issues, I could have won the dash. Our stuff was rolling. But the 30-lap A-Main event is up next. Factory QRC is giving me another great piece. Like I said, starting second row outside, we are in a great spot to win tonight. Going to definitely have to make a few moves to get to the front, but that's what, uh, that's what Red Bluff's all about. So we're going to give it our all head out for the A-Main event up next.
Wow, don't even really have much of a voice after tonight, man. Not gonna lie, a little disappointed we didn't pick up the win. Started fourth, finished fourth. Looking back, I shouldn't have been the nice guy. I probably should have pulled the trigger. I was running second there early, right behind the F4 of Carson Perkins, which congratulations, he got his first open win tonight. I totally know that feeling. I was right behind a man and I was waiting for a mistake because I felt like I was better than him, but it was also hard and I never really got to the point where I could possibly slide him for the win. So uh, we'll end up recapping the whole race here in a little bit. I'm gonna help these guys load up, but a top five, our best finish of the season, super consistent night all the way around, uh, great speed. After we were in second and fell back to third, we were just in bad spots. You know, it's not good to restart third. Every, anytime you're on the inside, which every restart I was, uh, it's just not very good. It's hard to not spin the tires and then also get to the fast lane, which is right through the middle. Overall though, like I said, I'm happy with our points tonight. Just, I need to watch the footage back. It felt like I wasn't close enough because in the rubber, sometimes you gotta be right there, but maybe I was, I don't know. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, a top five, gotta be happy with that at Red Bluff after our finishes and the first two races of the season. Well, tonight, the Red Bluff Outlaws gave us a phenomenal racing surface. It seemed like it was more top dominant there in the A-Main event, but early in the night, it was really good around the bottom. So it kind of just was shaken up as all the races were going, as the track was changing a ton. Like I said, started fourth and we finished fourth. A good consistent night, qualified in the dash, uh, ran second in the heat race, which is so key here. You got to pass cars in the heat race to transfer right into the A-Main event. And being in the redraw was key. It seemed like no one tonight really moved forward from the back. A lot of the guys that started in the back stayed in the back, and a lot of the guys that started up front and just really kind of hung out there as we didn't have as many yellows as probably usual. Like I said, a little disappointed. Think I maybe could have pulled the trigger and made something happen uh, passing the F4 of Carson Perkins, but he ran a good race. He just never really bobbled at the right time when I was looking to make a move and maybe a possible slide job or running underneath him. So uh, anyway, once we kind of started running second there on those restarts, it was just tough to get going. And then my 60L, my teammate Landon Brooks got by me. He was incredibly fast and we were just kind of going back and forth, slider for slider. Then we fell back to third and then fourth at one point and then back in to third so we were just kind of going back and forth between second and fourth the whole race but a really really good run for the whole top five we'll see you guys all in the next one just want to thank factory qrc durst incorporated jet fitness burris racing tire jimmy ellidge everyone that um pitches in you know landon and matt and everyone gave me a great car tonight unfortunately jimmy wasn't able to be here so uh, we were able to kind of substitute in with a good crew chief and we all made it happen so our setups were dialed in we were really really fast and the 18t has a few wins coming soon see you guys all in the next one hopefully you guys had fun watching deuces